What's up, everyone? I'm Timothy Amayam Jr. You're watching Milam Asylum. Pete's blended coffee. Real cream and sugar. 100% Colombian coffee. Found these at a local U.S. market. Two for six dollars. Plus ten cents deposit here in Oregon. Um... <clears throat> Chocolate truffle and caramel dulce. Or dulce. Anyways, um, each one is 95 milligrams of caffeine, equivalent to one cup of coffee. They have a shit ton of calories, so if you are on a calorie hunt, these are not for you. Um, they have a shit ton of sugar in them. Um, 270, 250. 40 grams of carb, 44 grams of carb. Total sugar, 37 grams, 42 grams. So these are absolutely horrible for you. But, if you don't give a shit about any of your health, Let's taste them. Let's do it. All right, let's talk. Start with chocolate truffle first. That one sounds delicious. And for any of those of you who are keeping up with my channel, which I'm not sure how many actually do, and know that I am been doing a carnivore diet, and occasionally I do sip, so I do take a little bit of sugar in my diet. I guess in this point, yes, intentionally to do reviews, but I never finish any of these products. I typically throw them all away. Well, dump them out. Mm. Or if somebody is around that can drink it, then I allow them to partake in that. Whoa. It smells super strong, like... I just like woke up right there like whoa so you can smell like a semi-sweet chocolate and Colombian roast so spot on really shake it well. Let's try that again. So, upon that sip, it was bland, almost tasteless. Um, it was like you put like a mild bit of cream and a mild bit of sugar into coffee. Now, it wasn't so strong of coffee where you're like oh add more creamer it was like a perfect balance of it but it was so bland all right a little sweeter not by much um, when I think chocolate truffle, I'm thinking something like super sweet, um, almost, uh, almost like a, uh, top tier dessert, you know, like a chocolate truffle, not a bland, semi chocolatey coffee, like, no not what I'm expecting at all from that. So let's hope that uh, Caramel Dulce is much better coffee. Okay. And this time we will shake it up. Uh, so far, I'm disappointed. Let's, 
hope that they can redeem themselves with this one, right? Well, their packaging sucks super bad. <clears throat> I love the Snapple Pop, though. Remember when uh, Snapple became super popular, like, um, in middle school, so I was, uh, um, I'm 40, so 5th, 6th, and 7th grade, we'd get Snapples all the time, and we just fuck with the caps. Anyways. <laughs> I don't remember what year that was. This one smells way better. This one you can actually smell the sweetness. Like a salted caramel. Kind of like a, the drizzle, you know what I mean? Like you watched it drizzle down the cup and that sweetness of the caramel, you just want to like taste it off the side. That's what I'm smelling. It smells as beautiful as that looks. Enticing. Alright. Now this one is by far the best. This one, however, is pretty much shit. Waste of your money, really. And that's the chocolate truffle. Caramel dulce. So, they're labeled up here on the top. Um, nowhere else. Except for which in the back. But anyways. Um, these... Um... So I do highly recommend that you pick up the and try the caramel dulce and completely dismiss the chocolate truffle. Um, I would just buy two of these for six. Ignore this. Um, but as overall for Pete's Coffee, they're a in okay product. Um, they're not anything to write home about. Um, I would slap them overall with a, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 6.8 out of 10, clearly because this one is actually really fucking good. Um, but that's your review. I'm Timothy Allen Jr. Until next time, fuck off.